Are the people of God chosen? Does God call us out and set us apart? And this has been a big debate for a lot of people. So let's go to scripture and allow you to decide what scripture says. Deuteronomy 10, 14, 15 says, Behold, to the Lord your God belong heaven and the heaven of heavens, the earth with all that is in it. Yet the Lord set his heart in love on your fathers and chose their offspring after them. You above all peoples as you are this day. Psalm 33, 12 says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. Psalm 65, 4, Blessed is the one you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, the holiness of your temple. Well, those are Old Testament verses, so let's go to some New Testament verses. Matthew 11:27. No one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Matthew 22, 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. Romans 8, 28 through 30. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those who he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. Romans 8.33 Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? Romans 11.28 As regards the gospel, they are enemies of God for your sake. But as regards to election, they are beloved for the sake of their forefathers. Colossians 3.12 Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved. 1 Thessalonians 5.9 For God has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Titus 1.1 Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the sake of the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of the truth, which accords with godliness. 1 Peter 1.1-2 To those who are elect exiles, according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father, in the sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ and for sprinkling with his blood. Mark 13.20 And if the Lord had not cut short the days, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, whom he chose, he shortened the days. Ephesians 1.4 Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him 